Hey everybody, this is John Turner and I'm the creator of Cell WP and I've been using this product uh, to sell my own plugin for about the last year and a half and I've been slowly working on building it out so others could use it. So I just wanted to give you a quick uh, getting started guide here on how to set up a product and what it looks like when somebody buys it. So after you register for an account, the first thing you want to do is go over here to files and upload your um, theme or plugin. And we're just going to hit new and let's give it a name here and this is just so we know what it is and then select plugin in my case I'm going to choose the file and you want to select a slug the slug is going to be whatever the folder name is uh, for your product so in my in my case it's um, a seed prod coming soon pro and this is going to going to want to make this unique. I'm going to hit one there because I have it on my other sites and this will check across sites. Then we're going to add a um, version here. So I think this is add that. So when you upload this, this will upload a file that you can use to create a product with. I'll go through a lot of the other details more in depth than some other videos, but let's just go ahead and up the, uh, upload, uh, upload this right now. So we're going to push it up. And this is going up to Amazon S3, and it is a protected link. Um, nobody can get to it um, unless we generate a link for it. So next thing we want to do here is create a product. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to call it Coming Soon Pro Business. And we're going to give it a price of $49 and updates and support and duration. This is in months and we've got um, tips all over the website here. So I'm just going to put 12 months and number of activations. So this is how many sites the plugin can be activated on. Five and then we choose the files here. So we've got, whoops, got a typo there. Coming soon pro. And then um, let's create the product. So we now have a product and it's presented us here with basically a buy now link. So um, if we click this link, it will add it to our cart here. So this is a basic cart. Um, the only thing I've done to the cart is really set up Stripe and obviously you wanna do that before you get started as well. And that's under settings and um, under general right here, just connect your Stripe account and so this is a basic cart. You can style out your cart. You can add your logo, change the colors, add a background image, but this is the basic cart. And let's go ahead and go through the purchase process like we're somebody or a customer. So I'm just going to call this um, JohnSeedPride.com. And then we're going to pay with card. And I'm, this is a live transaction. Okay. And then we're going to hit pay. And this is going to process the credit card and should send us a receipt. So this is what the customer will see. So great, it's processed. It presents them with a license key. They can download it. And like I said, this is a protected download link. And if you look down at the bottom of the screen, it's got a, um, a signature to it. And this link expires within an hour. And then we've got some other information here that's been sent to here. And you can see the emails coming in here, the test emails. And it also lets the customer go ahead and log in at this point. But let's go check out our emails here. So I'm going to go here. And so I've got a couple emails. And the first email is what the customer sees. So you can see it says, uh, thank you for your order. They can view their um, invoice. And just click here. They can print that or whatever they, whatever they need to do. And then they... Um, have credentials here to log into their account and what the owner gets is basically this email which summarizes the order and just notifies them that an order has been made so we'll go back here to our test and the customer would be logging in at this point and as you can see here um, again this is an overview of their order they can re-download the plugin uh, check their activations get their license key view the invoice and this is the members portal and this can be customized you can add custom data up here some custom menu items over here 
and really tailor it to your needs uh, as, as someone that sells WordPress plugins or themes. So really that's basically it and that's quite easy to get up and going. Um, check out some of the other videos for some in-depth tutorials on the other sections and how to use various other parts of CellWP. All right.